We are very excited about our next yeah, guest, yeah. actors Jimmy Smits and Amanda Warren. They play police officers in the new CBS drama East New York. Smits is an Emmy Award winning actor known for his roles in NYPD Blue, L.A. Law, The West Wing and Sons of Anarchy. And he's Warren, done a lot, Tony. He's done a whole <laughs> yeah. lot. And Warren has starred in The Purge, The Leftovers <laughs> and Dickinson. Now she's playing Deputy Inspector Regina Haywood who's put in charge of a police precinct in East New York. And Smith's plays her mentor, Chief John Suarez. In the clip you're about to see, they respond to a hostage situation. The bomb squad just went through all this uh, video footage. They say the electronic triggers a daisy chain. So one goes, they all go. He won't give up the hostage, and he's not even talking to us. Eventually, they're going to lure him to the window and snipe him before he blows the place if up. If he's not talking, it might be the only way. Before we reach that conclusion, I'd like a shot at talking to him. I think I can reach this guy. I got to say no, Regina. It's time to let the ESU do their job. Nobody gets to make a bomb threat in this city anymore. I expect to just walk away. One PP got to you. They did. I got chiefs and super chiefs blowing up my cell, yes. Next call is going to probably be the PC ordering us to light him up. Honestly, I could watch Ooh. you two talk yes, all day. I, know. I, love I mean, you're yeah. so good. Jimmy Smith <laughs> and Amanda Warren join us now. The show's terrific. You guys are terrific together in it. Uh, and for J Jimmy, you've morning, you played a lot of cops before in your life, right? A lot of years Couple. on TV, once Couple. or twice. Uh, but this time's a little bit different because you're in the neighborhood where you, real life Jimmy, actually grew up. Yeah, it's like it's that kind of never say never. Well, you know, we thrive as actors to be versatile. And I don't know about having to talk about revealing so much about yourself every time you do a job, but this meant a lot to me because it's the neighborhood where I had my wonder years, you know, yeah. where I discovered theater and, you know, had my first kiss and all that so stuff. So you were filming in an area where you had your first kiss? You're walking by the area where you had your first <laughs> yeah, kiss? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I get flushed. With yes. They get tired of hearing me talking about, oh. We do oh, not. We do not. Did people... <laughs> I had Al Sharpton there. <laughs> yes. I was in high school. I went did people there. in the neighborhood come up to you, not because you're actor Jimmy Smith, but because you're the guy who grew up there? I, I've had a couple of people say, my mom went to high school with you, or uh, I, was at, I was a kid at the uh, community action program that you worked in during the summer. So that's, you know, I'm flush with it. it informs everything else that I do on a day-to-day -day basis. But we're both New Yorkers. I was going to yeah. say, yeah. Energized. you know that area too, Amanda. You know I what do, it's like. I do, but I know the Kipps Bay area, Manhattan, a little better. Went to school in Gramercy, went to uh, NYU Tisch, PPAS, which is in the theater district as a vocalist, and uh, haven't really looked back since. A but, yellow school drama. And, and, but word is you got this role without auditioning. How is that? I, I don't know. I don't know. How, Jimmy, how was um, that? No she's audition. Good. <laughs> no, I was I was getting ready for another show, the upcoming season of Gossip Girl, where I play a mean mommy, and um, <laughs> and basically I was just getting ready for the the day's work the next day, and uh, I had gotten the script, told them that I really enjoyed it and thought it was different, and the next week there was an offer on the table, and I said, oh, it's did a you know test Jimmy offer. was involved? No, I okay. was the first person cast. Okay. So um, you said, oh, a test offer. Yeah, a test offer. Yeah, um, a per producer session and no Amanda you have this role it is yours to take and um, wow. I haven't really looked back since and I was filming with Jamie Foxx a feature coming up and it was just all a whirlwind of, of dreams. Well they made a good call. They yes. made a call for sure. Thank uh, you. Jimmy this is not only a reunion to the place you grew up for you uh, it's also a reunion with the executive producer of NYPD Blue. Yeah. What's yeah. that like? A lot, of, a lot of the creatives that are that have been involved in, in, in both in LA Law and NYPD Blue are involved in that and that there was it was uh, comfort for me because there's a shorthand between us and I know where the heart is in terms of the topic that we're dealing with and the time that we're dealing with it in. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a young creative, Mike Flynn, who's Mike with Flynn. us, who's, you know, giving voice to that writer's room as well. So, um, yeah, we're with jazz on a yeah. day to day with jazz. And then, Amanda, you you had to physically prepare for the role because there's a lot of physicality in this character for there you. There is. And you posted on Instagram where you go to the range and you're and you're really getting ready. Yes, well, I quite enjoy shooting. I had done it um, on occasion, but now I do it on a monthly basis now. So it's, um, yeah, the training, uh, waking up early like you all for those yes. early calls, yeah. going from we're the ready. top to the bottom of the call sheet. Um, you know, you wake up, you have an athletic energy, and you go in action and put your 
your explanation into action. Well, kind of like how we're cheating, does. cheating, treating this job like an athlete. You All know, right. On a day. We, we day. do the same workout uh, at, 45. at forty-five. He's my Insta friend. Show off. Yes. Uh, but but before we go, uh, Jimmy, I got something special for you. You mentioned uh, being exposed to drama uh, for the first time growing up in East New York. Uh, we found the drama teacher uh, who, who turns you on to acting. I know you gave up football uh, to take on this uh, acting thing, and it's turned <laughs> out pretty give up well. A we got a message from him. Uh, let's play it. Oh no! Whoa. Hey, Jimmy, it's Mickey T, your old high school oh. drama teacher at Jefferson High School. And how ironic is it that now you're in a show called East New York, which is, of course, exactly the place where we first used to work together. Well, I wanted to thank you for quitting the football team all those years ago in order to come <laughs> and be in the, the show that I was directing. I think that you made the right decision. Oh, my God, Charlie. Things seem to have worked out pretty well. I'm still teaching and directing. No. I'm at Wagner College now. But I can still remember that shy, awkward kid who showed up to audition for the spring play. I'm glad you did. Stay cool, Smitty. Oh, oh Smitty, Smitty, that's so nice. Putting it all for Clem <laughs> How did you know you wanted to act at an early age when you could have done football, too? I like Mr. T, that's nice. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't only football. It was the, the neighborhood that we're shooting is challenged in so many, you know, social economic ways. Uh, with regards to health care, there, there just have been mentors uh, well, along the way. you made an impression on him, Jimmy. What does uh -huh. it mean to you that he's, he, of course, still remembers you, too? Yeah, I mean, he, he, he exposed us to theater and like, taking us to see Broadway plays. You know, I remember taking kids to see The Wiz uh -huh. and the, the light in their eyes when they, you know, when that flame is lit. It's just a beautiful thing. Yeah. Well, Happened in East New York. Yeah. Yes. It's a beautiful story, and you guys are in a great show. It's going to do fantastic. And you're on CBS. Yeah. So and you're on like CBS. You By the way, I'm going to say that again. Jimmy Smith, Ben Warren, thank you very much. You can watch East New yeah. York Sunday nights, 9, 8 central, right here on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus.